my Jack X Combat Racing playthrough has pretty much been finished up. All that's left, that all I'm just gonna do now, or what I actually decided to do just recently, um, to do some special uh, um, just showings of the the reels, commentary scenes, a uh, bloopers movie, and uh, making uh, of the game, and breakdown of a scene. I don't have enough precursors to buy everything in the secrets menu. I know that for a fact. First, start off with the commentary. Oh yeah, there are vehicles to unlock too. The Naughty Dog and the Sand Shark. This will be commentary uh, on, on on the cutscenes. Um, hi, this is Aaron Baldwin, and uh, I am edited a portion of the intro we're seeing right now. Um, the the original intro is going to start off within the bar, kind of circle around. Patron the bar and then focus him on Baxter. But uh, we decided it would be a little bit more interesting to, to see the city that we're, we're about to start racing around in and then come to the exterior. Hi, I'm uh, Dan Aaron, creative director at Naughty Dog. Here we go with Baxter, who always is telling his stories. This has sort of become, uh, we actually fell into this accidentally while uh, taping Max in New York one time. We started talking and joking around. And we just, his storytelling ability is just something that seems to be perfect for the extra so here he is sort of starting the whole story the entire experience of where he's been for the last uh, few weeks in this dangerous city crass city uh, he has always as usual he has no idea how much trouble he's already in now the interesting thing about this sequence now as you've seen this is this is actually originally supposed to sort of surprise the player the viewer and think, thinking that uh, they're listening to um, Daxter tell a story about something that happened in the past and you think you're going to flashback here and seeing what happened in the past. Uh, but as you see as this uh, scene develops, you realize that actually it's uh, actually concurrent. Jack's actually rushing to save Baxter because now he realizes that they're in trouble. This is Josh Sher, I'm the uh, lead uh, cinematic animator of Naughty Dog, and this is the most uh, technically challenging uh, movie that we've ever uh, done here at Naughty Dog. One of our an animators, Eric, uh, hit upon the bright idea of uh, doing uh, car capture. So we were actually able to uh, drive the cars in the game in our actual levels ourselves made uh, a lot of the scenes much easier to do. Yeah. This was our grand introduction to the character Razor, which uh, I, I think was a nice departure for villains in uh, you know in video games or animation. Just uh, he, was, he was a little bit more eccentric and flamboyant. Uh, hey everybody, it's Taylor Kurosaki at Naughty Dog. I am the dialogue editor as well as uh, video editor. The first thing that uh, I started off with was trying, and this is how I normally work, is try to get some music that really inspires me to cut something that I really think has the right energy and the right tempo. And in this case, uh, I'm a big fan of the band Queens of the Stone Age, and just kind of slugged in this song you're hearing now. And uh, I just started cutting with it, you know, using all of these really cool angles that Josh and Eric were, were given to me. And I uh, wanted to put something that was fun, that was high energy, aggressive, and to me that Queens of the Stone Age music really set the tone nicely. You know, these guys are like these burly thugs, and um, so that to me was what inspired me to, to start off with this music first of all. Initially it was going to be just a placeholder until we found something that was equally as good or have someone score something, but really in the end we decided that really nothing was going to be better than these two songs in and of themselves, so we stuck with it. But this was a really fun thing for me to do. Normally, again, I'm just cutting trailers into the games and, and things of that nature, and it was just great to have the opportunity to cut something you know, right here uh, at the beginning of the game. Now, in the previous Jack games, uh, all of our uh, cinematics were uh, done in real time on the fly on PlayStation 2 and Cook. Now, in Jack X, it still is. Everything is still generated in real time. Everything is still done using the code. The difference is that we are actually taking screenshots of each individual frame and then assembling all of them all into one end. The reason we're doing this is simply because there's not enough memory for PlayStation 2 to go back and forth between the levels that we're doing this particular movie. You know what? I'm getting uh, um, quite close to <coughs> using up memory again. So thank you. 
uh, for watching the first um, part of the uh, Unlocked Reels, well, the second half of the Unlocked Reels, because I already showed you that uh, coffee cutscene. And I will, I guess that there's still a couple more videos left. And then I'll show the glitch.